Hello everyone, my name is Zisha. Uh, in this video, I will demonstrate how to create a uh, shuttle component in Oracle ADF. And uh, let's see the demo, uh, how the example is working. It's the person names are coming here. And when you select the favorite fruits coming, uh, the all fruits coming on the left side and the selected side, it's coming the favorite fruits. For example, uh, let me just create a simple example. You can select some fruits or remove. For example, let's take two for Adam and press OK. It will update in the database table. So now you will come back for Adam. It should have two. Uh, it's all. It's got don't have any and uh, it's a little slow okay so let's see how we pre uh, i created this example first of all the database structure i have a database project here the fruits all fruit names are coming in this table persons the name of persons coming in this table and by using shuttle component we are assigning person multiple fruits so uh, this kind of master detail but uh, with new web-based technologies you see how easy it is to uh, work with these structures by using shuttle component so uh, on the page i just drag and drop the iterator of uh, person iterator as a list and uh, I drag and drop the shell component. You can simple use select many shuttle. And shuttle has actually two parts. First is this select item you can see here. Is actually it takes a list parameters, and a second part is the value. You have to set both select items value as a list and selected fruits as a list whatever whatever this you will select in the trailing section it will store in this value and all values are coming from this so i created a little back in bean here let's go i declared two attributes called selected fruit all fruits and uh, the get method of selected uh, first let's see the all fruits so get all fruits attribute is calling this method items for iterator and it's uh, just reading the page definition iterator values and adding into the select list item and returning the select same goes for uh, selected fruit and get selected fruit is calling uh, either it is null or refresh select when we are changing the list it's refreshing again and it's also doing reading the page definition file and adding the all rows in the iterator into <laughs> the attribute and uh, another is I am calling uh, value change listener you can see here refresh select list whenever we change from person to person this component will refresh based on partial triggers on this and uh, on simple value change event i'm just assigning the value true to this refresh select list another thing on the ok button is i'm calling a method called process shuttle and it's calling this process shuttle method it's reading the page definition binding context uh, then reading the i iterator and then i'm looping all over the uh, iterator to remove all existing values and then i'm reassigning the new uh, selected values into against the person so what I'm doing here, I'm taking a row, creating a row in the iterator, setting is status to initialized, 
setting two attributes get person id actually is coming get current person id is reading the page uh, uh, definition attribute binding from here and assigning the current select uh, selected person and this get selected fruits uh, actually reading the list and uh, index of all these uh, list then the iterator get row iterator insert row to allow the insert row and current row is uh, with key actually setting the current uh, row in the list and then i'm just calling uh, operation binding of commit this is the commit operation and simple it's calling the commit and uh, let's see some more uh, i'm assigning first let's see in the database i have uh, let's run scott has person id 4 and you see there is no person id 4 and we will assign it three three different fruits and press ok and person id 4 should now retrieve three different fruits as you see i will remove one from here press ok again person id 4 now should restrict to two fruits so hope you found this uh, example useful and if, feel free to comment on the video and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask me thanks for watching goodbye